Hi, everybody. All right, in this video, we're going over, we, you can see that I've got uh, some new fuel lines to stick in. So the one you're looking at here is on the right side. That's the short line that's going from the number three cylinder back towards the center of the engine so that we can then tee off of that. Well, not tee, but we're going to elbow that 90 degrees through that back baffle down to the fuel filter. Uh, to review the three phases of the fuel line, uh, I don't know what journey you want to call it, uh, number one was getting that fuel line you see on the left there from the number one to the number two cylinder just to make sure that it would work around the prop governor. Once that was in place and we were happy, we could then order the line that goes from the number three cylinder here, that short piece that you see on the right, and of course the other side, which is the left side, that goes from the number four cylinder to the fuel pressure regulator, which you're about to see me install here. Happy to report that one fits perfectly well. Now that we know that per fits perfectly well, we're going to take that one back off and we're going to use it as a test line on the left, on the right side here. So what we need to do is we need to still get two more lines. We need the one from the num from that little line there, right? It's got to go at 90 degrees through the baffling down to the fuel filter, and then from the fuel filter to the firewall. Here we have a piece of vinyl out so that we can kind of measure. Because we can't really we we can't really use the fuel line from the right from the left side to measure because you can't really cut it because that what would it would kind of defeat the purpose. So we're going to take that fuel line and uh, we're going to drill up this hole to the proper size, which I think is nine sixteen. No, nine sixteenths is the width of the hose. I think three quarters is the size of the hole. Don't quote me on that. Uh, we're going to put that line through the back baffle and we're going to use it, even though it's not the right length to get to the fuel filter, we're still going to use it to make sure, one, that the hole's properly placed, which it is, and then two, we're going to use the line down at the bottom as we move towards our favorite camera view here in a second, and we're going to use it to make sure that the fuel filter fits in place. That's a lot of explanations. Uh, this was not an easy process. Uh, I, I would some some would even call it a journey. I hate that term, but that's what it is. Uh, if you look up there, and here we are with our favorite camera angle. Uh, if you look up, you can see where the fuel filter is going to be next to the oil f uh, cooler, and we need to make sure that the line that comes out, that the fuel filter has a place where it can be held in place very sturdily. So once we're good with that, then we will actually measure the line that we need from the small piece down to the fuel filter, and then we'll also be able to measure the fuel filter to the firewall. Oof, what a mess. Again, I would like to thank Aircraft Specialty, who makes these lines. They are fantastic. They are quick turnaround. And their cost is pretty much identical to what you would get from Spruce. Not that I don't love spruce. As I've said, I'm a spruceaholic. But I'm becoming an aircraft specialty holic as well, so thank you guys. I know that this camera angle doesn't really show much, but you really do wind up spending a lot of time staring at the space between the back of the engine and the firewall with your hands not only up in there thinking, how the hell does this fit, but how is this going to fit with everything else? Uh, and so far I've gotten pretty lucky. And I, uh, I cannot overemphasize how fortunate I feel that I haven't screwed this up yet. So, all right. Uh, I don't believe there's anything else substantive here. I'm just going to let this one trail out because you're not going to see me move. Uh, this is just using the line that's going through and sort of, uh, like I said, using it to secure the fuel filter. In the next video, you're going to see us... Uh, actually securing the real line so in the next video we have the full line that goes from the back of the number three down to the everything else and you're going to see that in place which is great we're going to attach the left side line to the fuel pressure regulator and all that so all right thank you for joining me everyone happy thursday see you soon